everyone and welcome to what I prepped today. Today was a prep day for um, you know HBA health and beauty aids and we'll start down here with the dial soap. It's the antibacterial soap, no mistake this time. Uh, this is $3.97 at Walmart and the Sunday paper had a one dollar off two coupon, so it was three forty seven for us, and we use that anyway. So this is, uh, you know, basically what you're supposed to do anyway when you use something. You instead of buying one, you buy two. That's how we all started with our preps. Well, that's how people recommend that you start with your preps. So then, uh, of course, we've got some deodorant here. Uh, this is a new aluminum-free one, which is what I use uh, that Walmart is carrying. And I normally use the Jason or the other brands of the aluminum-free. And uh, these were three fifty each for the right guard. And the Sunday paper had a $4 off coupon. $4 off when you buy two. So basically, this was three fifty or three sixty for two of those. And those will all just go into the HBA stocks. And then, of course, bug spray because you uh, need it now. But, you know, if things do get bad and garbage starts piling up or you need to head out to the woods or hide out somewhere, you're really going to want to keep the no SAMs off you. And we have some... Uh, insect repellent with DEET, but we actually prefer it without the chemicals. So this one for babies, uh, it's called uh, Baby Ganics, Baby Organics, some, something like that. And uh, that was eight, I think eight dollars for six ounces. And that was actually over in the laundry detergent section near the uh, mouse killer and the fly ribbons and then I have the repel brand uh, which is over in the camping section so this one was I think almost five dollars four ninety seven this one was eight dollars I hadn't tried this one before but I wanted to try it to see if it works as good as this one I really like this and they also have this repel brand in a metal spray bottle and it's really nice because you don't have to worry about spilling it but it's costs more money for the same amount of spray I suppose because of the cost of making the canister so uh, I kind of stick with this and then uh, let's see of course I already showed you my fly ribbons we use these uh, in the areas where the dogs are and in the summer if the house is opened up uh, we don't want the flies around. And again, like I said, if there comes a time whenever garbage isn't collected or, you know, stuff like that starts to pile up, you'll be glad you had these. And they sell them at the dollar store. You get four in a, four fly ribbons for a dollar. But in the pesticide section at Walmart, which is over by the laundry in my store, you get a 10-pack for $1.96. So it's actually a better deal at Walmart than the dollar store. So then, oh, you okay? The dog is coughing. Stop gulping your food. So then, of course, toilet paper, pretty self-explanatory, except for uh, why we use this brand instead of cheap stuff. Uh, if you are lucky enough to have a septic tank and the plumbing becomes an issue, we would actually still be able to use our toilet if we had water to flush. But uh, this is what breaks down in the septic tank with no problem. And I was buying another brand that said septic safe. And my husband did a test to prove to me this one is better. We take this one, you take a sheet of whatever you want to test and just put it in a bowl of water. In like less than a minute, uh, this one, you can stir this toilet paper around with a spoon and it's just like dissolved and it's soft enough. Enough said there, right? So then of course, paper towels. I prefer to use rags and wash them and towels, but my husband loves the paper towels. And I'll tell you what, I get tempted sometimes to try the Scott paper towels, which I've actually tried them. They're a good bit cheaper. Um, not quite half, but probably 30% less. But these Viva, you can wash them 
in the washing machine and they come out usable again. So you don't want to flush those if you have a septic system, but these have been in my pocket and come out in the wash just fine and you can rinse them out and reuse them. So if you're so inclined or you're able to do that, then this would definitely be the better deal. So on to the next preps, the sanitary napkins for ladies. I pretty That's pretty much self-explanatory. I bought the ones for bladder leakage because whether or not you have bladder leakage, you can use them for the same thing. And they're $4.84 and this week's ad had a $2 coupon, so $2.84. And then I had... Uh, I usually I have a lot of liquid soap saved up and I had no bar soap and we don't really use it because we have a well so no matter what it's always leaving a, a film uh, on the shower and everything else with the hard water uh, so but since everything else is liquid I thought I'd put some of these in storage and I will go ahead and put some of them in boxes uh, that have things like the paper towels and the toilet papers and, and the sanitary napkins in it, you know, just to keep, I don't know, help keep bugs away. I, I've heard that soap does that, especially Irish Spring, and I'll, I'll just test this, you know, but I'll just keep this away from my food storage, which all of this is always away from the food storage anyway. So then, of course, uh, we did some alcohol preps. My husband and I are not big drinkers. He likes to make wine, and he'll have an occasional glass of wine. But we don't drink a lot. Uh, so this, uh, Pennsylvania, we have the LCB, the Liquor Control Board. And so I don't know how much alcohol costs wherever you are and where else in the nation. But this was on sale for $18.99. I think the regular price is um, 20 or 22 for 1.75 liters of this 360 vodka. And I kind of really like the, the lid here. That's kind of, I don't know, that's why I got that one. And then, of course, one I might be tempted to try is this, uh, the same brand, but it's a double chocolate, and that's a 750 milliliters, and I think that was um, 9 or $10 for that one. And then at the register, it, it's crazy. Who would have guessed that the, um, the liquor store has clearances? So... They had four of these sitting by the register, and they're called Dr. McGillicuddy's Intense Menthol Mint Cherry, well, Menthol Mint and Cherry, two of each, 24% uh, alcohol by volume, and those were on clearance for $1.99 for this one thing, so they had four left, so I bought four. And I don't know if I'm going to save these, or uh, my niece does a lot of... Um, baskets for donations where you know you go and you do a dutch auction and you buy tickets and you put them in the bag in front of the basket that you want to win and they pull one out and you win it and um if they pull your ticket you win it and she does a lot of these little alcohol bottles because she's found that her when she buys these little bottles of alcohol her baskets get the most money and they these um, organizations always love when my niece is going to make them a basket <laughs> because they know it's going to be a really good one and uh, she does really good things like that and uh, like even whenever it's for a, a kid's benefit or something she's always doing like a bicycle or things like that so that's it that's what I prepped today, and hopefully I'll upload this video and get it off my phone, which I know I haven't uploaded a lot of videos, and you've seen the garden videos, and that's why. So, okay, so tell me if alcohol is priced differently or much better in your state, and uh, let me know what else you prepped today, and if what I prepped is good or bad. Thanks for watching. Bye.